If you guys aren't aware by now, you guys know I'm a huge Jersey fiend. When it comes to jerseys, I could talk about that all day. I have my own YouTube channel dedicated to just jerseys. Uh, and I got to tell you guys about Fans Idea right now. Fans Idea is your own site where you can customize a jersey if you're choosing to the color, to the size, to the scripture, to the number on the back, everything. They got baseball, they got football, they got hockey, they got basketball, they even got hats and hoodies. If you want to create something for your team. Got a men's softball league you want to do? Make yourself some jerseys for the team. Got a bowling league? Make yourself some t-shirts for it. Do what you want to do. Got a men's basketball league at the YMCA? Go get your team a bunch of jerseys and some shorts too. You literally can do it all. And look at this right now. I'm wearing my slick back base. Because the people at Fans Idea send me this. It's really nice with the Mets colors here. The better New York baseball team, by the way. But the scripture is nice. I put 20 and 19 on the back because that's when the podcast started. I have everything. They even have the podcast logo here on the sleeve. You could do whatever you want to the jersey. It's just really, really nice. And the stuff there is really, really good and a really good price. Like they said, they had anything you could choose, any color, any style, any font, any number. You could put any type of logo on it, whatever you want to do. And it's a really good price. And you can get an even better price if you use the code FONTS, F O N C, for 10% off your order. Head over to fansidea.com right now. Make yourself a nice jersey. You know what? Do a soccer jersey, do a polo, do a hat, do a varsity jacket because those are really nice. And put the code F O N Z at the end at checkout for 10% off your order. You guys know I'm a big jersey guy. I talk about jerseys all the time. And I would lie to you when it comes to jerseys. This stuff here, really good quality, good stitching. It's some legit stuff. Again, Again, fansidea.com, use code FONTS, F-O-N-Z, for 10% off your order right now. Why, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fonts Talk Jerseys. It is I, Fonts the Falcon, your jersey connoisseur here in the wonderful world of YouTube. And we're back with a video. That's right. It's been some time since I made a video on this channel. Took a little bit of a mini sort of break here after doing four straight uniform reviews from the NFL season. If you want to check those out, the links are down below for all of them. Texans, Broncos, Jets, Lions, they're all down below. They were doing really well, and you guys have definitely loved those videos. And on top of that, the channel has been kind of blowing up a little bit here. Got some new subscribers on it, so definitely welcome to the channel. And along the heels, been watching some past videos and one of my old videos did on a team top 10 someone comment on here shout out to anthony who said i suggest you do your top 10 miami heat and boston celtics jerseys well first of all anthony don't tell me what to do secondly i'm just kidding i absolutely love this idea so you know what we're gonna do this here the team top 10s returns and the boston celtics one is definitely in my suggestion and by the way if you have a suggestion for a team top 10 or any type of video here definitely want to comment on this video down below or dm the instagram page at fonts talks jerseys but your miami heat one got me really thinking because honestly i'm gonna be real with you here miami heat have one of the best overall uniforms in all of sports i'm not just talking current their throwbacks their city edition jerseys any type of jerseys they never really had a bad jersey outside of maybe one or two so I figured, why not do a team top 10 returning here with the Miami Heat? And it's very simple. It's just my top 10 jerseys in all the franchise history. I've done two in the past with the Atlanta Hawks and Dallas Mavericks from fan suggestions. You want to check them out. The place is also down below if you want to see those two. But this one is definitely the hard. It took me a little bit to kind of come up with my top 10. And I think I nailed it here. Definitely want to let me know down below if I got it right or wrong. And the criteria is very simple. The top 10, the ones I like the most from 10 to 1. It, it's very simple. All uniforms apply here. A home, away, an alternate any type of special edition one it counts here the one thing i will say is if it was used as a hardwood classic or a classic edition jersey i combined it to when the jersey was originally used spoiler alert for an example here i did use a certain miami heat classic edition jersey that was used recently but i did combine it to when the jersey was originally used it combined it to one entry here but if it wasn't a classic jersey it counted as a separate entry but that it's very simple let's get right into it here are my top 10 miami heat jerseys of all time in my personal opinion we're starting with number 10 a controversial one i know people are going to come after me the heat fans here but let me hear me out here on my number 10 here it is the 2020 2021 earned jersey otherwise known as the trophy gold jersey now the earned jersey was a jersey that was awarded for a team for making the playoffs the previous season and since the heat made the playoffs in 2020 actually making the nba finals that year they were awarded a brand new jersey for the following season and this one is different from the other jerseys this is the first time red was not used at all in a heat jersey because the base color was yellow it was called Called trophy gold now this was to represent the finals trophy the historic franchise of the miami heat winning three championships since becoming an expansion team in 1989 and it's a simple home uniform they've used in years past with the heat lettering in black and the numbers in black but the base is yellow and i know a lot of people didn't like it when it first came out it took away from the traditional red jersey for the heat but I really don't know why I've grown to like these a lot. And I kind of wish they brought this back for a special edition jersey. It was only worn a few times. But I think that all gold look looked really, really cool. It just was something different for the heat. They tried something different. And honestly, looking back on it now, 
I kind of like it a lot. I know I'm ready for the Heat fans to not be happy with me, but I really do think this trophy gold earned jersey is a lot better now and it kind of holds up. My number nine one, you're going to see this jersey a bunch of times, spoiler alert, on this top 10 here. And that is the 2018 2019 earned jersey, otherwise known as the Sunset Vice jersey. Now, if you want to wear what Nike City Edition jersey was to pay homage to the culture aspect, the city of where the team plays in. And when the first time they did the City Edition jersey, they did a jersey representing the Miami Vice colors. The hit TV show back in 1980s and the word mark represented the original Miami arena and this is actually the third installment of the vice series here the earned jersey like i said in the previous one is when the team makes the playoffs the year prior and they got themselves a earned jersey and this was the pink version of it, which is a pink base with the white lettering and numbers here with the turquoise teal on the collars here i gotta say this one is a really really good one now it's not my favorite of the vice city bunch which you will see very shortly in this video here spoiler alert but it is a nice one it was nice to use on occasion here again not to be used all the time but the pink base it kind of worked. Now, I think pink jerseys could be very hit or miss here, but this one was definitely a hit, and I do kind of miss these a little bit. I wouldn't mind if the team brought this back for a special edition once in a while jersey. But much like the trophy gold one previously mentioned here, this is kind of a rarity because it wasn't used that much during this one season, but still a rarity to get. And I'm glad to say I do have one in the collection. doesn't fit me. It's a little bit tight, but it will definitely be framed. You'll definitely be seeing up here in the near future. My number eight, I'm going to go with a special edition alternate one they did. It's the 2012-2013 White Hot Alternate. Now, this was the era where the Miami Heat did an all monochrome color uniform set. Now, the previous season, they did an all black ensemble of it. This year, in 2012-2013, they did an all white set. And the year following, they did an all red set. But out of the bunch, I think the White Hot Alternate is one of my favorites of the bunch. Now, so we'll take their regular white home uniform, but make the wording and lettering here white, much like the base of jersey, with little black accent marks on the side here and the outline of the lettering. And just when I see this, I think of, you know, LeBron James, D-Wade, the big three, that Miami Heat finals run they had during that time. I think it's a really, really cool jersey. Now, I'm not one for all monochrome color jerseys, but for some some reason it just worked here it was really nice the white hot the alternate here and it was that time whenever the heat made the playoffs to go the white hot when the fans wore the all white ensemble here and the jerseys match what the fans wore this is a really really cool jersey now, honestly i wouldn't hate it the heat kind of brought these back now number seven i'm gonna go with what they currently have now their regular icon jerseys which is back then considered their road jersey from 2014 to the present era now, in 1999, they did a complete uniform overhaul, but in 1999, with their regular road uniform, it was basically the same thing, but it said heat on it. But in 2014, they made a modification where they took away the heat lettering, and they made it just Miami, the city they play in. And honestly, I do like the Miami lettering a lot more on here than as opposed to the heat one you see in the white jersey. The black base is very sleek here with the white lettering and the red outline of the numbers and the striping on the side here. It's still used today. It's one of the more popular jerseys in the NBA. There's a reason why they've kept this jersey since 2014, and basically the same one since 1999. It's a really, really iconic one. It's a really good jersey. Now, I know some people probably like when it had the heat lettering here on the original black uniforms, but for me, I like the city lettering here a lot more. Now, number six, I'm going to go with the original home uniform they used from 1988 to 1999. You see here with the white base with the red lettering here and the red numbers here with the white outline on here. I like the little flame with the T here. This is a classic, classic uniform. It was so popular, it was used twice as a throwback uniform. During the 2007-08 season, it was used as a hardwood classic, and most recently in the 2022-2023 season as a classic edition uniform. Uniform. And I like how this one, I like how the heat lettering and the numbers here kind of pop here. I really especially like how the numbers are a lot larger than normally here. I just think it's a really, really good uniform. And even on the shorts here with the flaming basketball with the rim around it, it's a really, really good one. I think this is a classic one, and I like these, and I really wish they can bring these back more as a classic edition. They are really, really nice ones. Now, number five, you saw the earned version, but here's the original one, the 2017-2018 City Edition jersey, otherwise known as the Vice City jerseys. Now, this is the first installment of the Vice series here. This is the first ever Heat City Edition uniform, and let me tell you, it started off a trend of really good city jerseys here. It's the white base with the blue numbers and the pink Miami lettering here, again, represented the original Miami Arena logo. Now the white base was great and the pink one was really good, but it was just the kind of the start of the trend of what we're going to see coming with these Vice jerseys also mentioned with the pink one previously mentioned. Now, a lot of fans weren't sure what teams were going to do with the City Edition jerseys when they first were announced to represent the culture and the city that the teams played in, but they knocked out of the park with this one. Again, the start of a trend of something special with these jerseys. Number four, I'm going to go with their 1999 to present day home slash association uniform. Now, I say both because pretty much since Nike took over in 2017, it was the same jersey they used since 1999. Maybe some little modification on the shoulders and the striping here, but overall it was the same with the white base and the heat lettering in red. Now, as our second home uniform ever used since they became a 
franchise in 1988, and there's a reason why they haven't changed their regular home and away uniforms as much, because they're just so iconic. I mean, the white base, the heat lettering, and again, the flame on the T here, it was more of a modern one as composed it was originally. This is just a really, really good home association uniform. I'm a big fan of it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's a really good uniform. I don't see these changing anytime soon. They're just really, really good uniforms, and I hate to say it as a Knicks fan, they're really, really nice. Number three, we're going to go with the 2018-2019 City Edition jersey, otherwise known as their Vice Knights. It was the second installment of their City Edition Vice uniforms. The second year that the City Edition uniform became about, they took the basically the original one and made it a black base, calling it Vice Knights. I think this is really good, though. With the pink number here and the blue lettering of Miami, it's a sharp one. This is really, really good one. It's definitely a lot better than the original white one. Again, the white one was good and the pink one was good, but this black one is really, really sharp. Would I love to see these make a reappearance in the near future? You bet your ass I would. Number two, it's a unique one here. I know people probably won't put this the second best Miami jersey, but I just looking back on it, it's really, really nice. It is their 1995 to 1999 red alternate. Now, this was the first official alternate the Miami Heat used in franchise history. It was their original home and away uniforms would make the base red here with the black lettering and numbers with the white outline. And like I said, the red base here with the black lettering and numbers, it's a really, really cool one. I do like this a lot. It was actually used one time as a Hardwood Classic jersey from the 2012 to 2013 season. Now, they brought back the white version and the black version of this uniform as a hardwood classic but never did the red one again they've done the previous ones multiple times i wouldn't be shocked to see this red one used again for the upcoming season or the next couple of seasons as a classic edition jersey and again it was only a short-lived jersey from 95 to 99 but it's still a really really nice jersey i think the red is really sharp here it's a really good one it definitely holds up today one of my favorite heat jerseys and number one my favorite miami heat jersey of all time i mean you really knew it was going to be you knew it was going to be this one the second you probably clicked on this video. The 2019-2020 City Edition jersey, otherwise known as the Vice Wave jersey. I mean, these are absolutely beautiful. The second these debuted, the second the video dropped, Heat fans loved them, but even outside of Heat fans, they absolutely loved them. Everybody loved these the second these debuted. This was the fourth installment of the Vice City jerseys. They took the previous ones you saw in the video and made the base blue here with the white wording here and the pink numbers. <sighs> I mean, I can't get over how beautiful these are, and these still hold up today. I would love to see these team bring them back for another run. I can't get over how good that run was for those four years of those Vice City jerseys, from the white to the black to the pink, ending off with the blue. I'm not counting the Vice versus Gradient ones, because I really didn't like those, but that four era, those four City Edition jerseys and the one earned one in that little small era, just absolutely beautiful. This one here, I still wear it today. I absolutely love this one. The blue base, it's so, so nice. I do wish they can bring this back for one more go around. Miami Heat, if you're listening, and I know you are, bring them back one more time. That is my list of my favorite Miami Heat jerseys. Let me down below which one was your favorite of the bunch. Did I miss one? Did I rank one too high? Did I pull on a list that you wouldn't have put on? Again, let me down below. I want the conversation back and forth. Do you think the Miami Heat have one of the better jerseys in all of sports, not just the NBA? Let me know down below what you think, because honestly, I think the Heat have one of the better sets of jerseys, and they haven't really had a bad one. That's coming from a Knicks fan here. If you have a suggestion for a team top 10, you want a team top 10 jerseys, comment down below which team you want to see. I don't just do NBA. If you want me to do an NFL one, MLB, let me know down below what team you want to see. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel channel if you haven't already hit the bell tell a friend tell a couple of friends if you haven't already definitely follow the instagram page at fonts talk show i do some instagram exclusive content over there i've done some recent stuff of some player jersey history some other stuff here some jersey slideshows for the jersey museum section exclusive on instagram you want to definitely follow that if you haven't already if you want you want to follow my main youtube channel at fonts the falco it's some non-jersey stuff some kind of grab bag videos we're also my podcast on there too the slick back kickback report I just hit 500 subscribers on that channel. Definitely want to support that. And definitely subscribe to this channel too. Support the brand overall. You can follow my TikTok and Instagram at Fonz the Falco. The links and everything will be down below. You also have a custom made fans idea jersey. Use code Fonz for 10% off. You can get your own. Make your own custom style Miami Vice jersey. Again, if you have a suggestion for a video or a team top 10, definitely comment down below or DM the Instagram page if you want to too. Definitely support the brand. I greatly appreciate all the love and support. With that, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Have a good day, good night, good evening. Whenever you're watching said video, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.